Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Genesis chapter six, verses five through six. They read as follows. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him to his heart. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone, whether a love relationship, a family, a friend, a work relationship, where you feel as though you are the giver in the relationship? You encourage them, you provide for them, you help them, you speak to them, you give them whatever they need, you help them in times of need. You are always sort of there for them. You love them, you want to give to them, and they take it, but they don't give it back. In fact, they kind of ignore you. They can be a bit curt and rude, or sometimes even downright nasty and mean. They maybe have an undercurrent of resentment or even maybe hatred towards you. They are just sort of blatantly rude to you sometimes or veiledly rude to you sometimes. They just aren't very good to you. All you wanna do is love them. All you wanna do is share life with them, do life with them, enjoy time together, be there for them, help them out, receive that in return, enjoy life together but instead their actions tell you that you aren't their first priority, thought, or concern. Instead, maybe they actually don't like the way you do things. They rather do things their own way, go their own way, and because you don't agree with that, they essentially reject you. That's sort of where we are in our verse today. God made humans and gave them the earth. He gave them everything they would need to successfully enjoy this earth and even gave us some of what we wanted. He has been there for us, served us, helped us, loved on us, given us everything we need. But we humans wanted to do things our own way. We rejected God and his ways because we thought that we knew better. His ways were not appealing to us. We thought that we could decide how to run things, how to run this earth, the earth that he made, and we rejected him in the process. When you are in a relationship with someone and you've done so much for them, you have provided for them, served them, loved them, been there for them, and they sort of give you a metaphorical spit in the face or cold shoulder, it hurts you deep to your core. Perhaps you experience this with a child. You raised that child, you taught that child, you taught them about God, you sacrificed a lot for that child, you loved them, you taught them the way that they should go, but now that they are older, they've rejected you and God. They've chosen their own way and that path that they have chosen, it hurts you. Perhaps this is with a spouse. You sacrificed so much in that relationship and they turned around and left you for another. Perhaps this is with a parent. All you wanted was a normal, loving, wonderful relationship with a parent, but many times that parent can be a child in a grown-up's body and you have to be the grown-up and it's hard because they reject you. Friends, that hurt is deep and no one knows it better than the Lord. He says that he comforts us in all our troubles that we may be able to comfort others with the comfort we've been shown. While it is my prayer that that relationship be reconciled the way your heart desires, if for some reason it doesn't, know that you have a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And whether or not that person ever comes back and accepts you, know that God accepts you and that he loves you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He knows exactly how you feel because he has experienced it. And because he has experienced it, he knows that pain. He knows that heartache. He knows that suffering. He knows the blessings, the extra blessings, the extra grace, the extra help that you need and that you will get because he loves you because you've experienced this. God knows that feeling of rejection and because of it, he knows how to make it up to us either by healing that relationship or by giving us other relationships that so enrich our lives that we have peace about the situation. He knows that grief. He knows that grief and because of it, he knows how to give us joy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, God, that you are acquainted with grief. Lord Jesus, you are the man of sorrows. Isaiah tells us you are that one who is acquainted with grief. So you know how we feel. You know when we've been rejected. You know the pain that comes with that and the hurt that comes with that. And you will make it up to us. Lord, you say you will give us double for the trouble that we've experienced. I pray for all of my brothers and sisters watching, God. I pray that you would bless them and make it up to them, that you would bless them and so enrich their lives, Lord, that they would have peace about about the entire situation. I pray, God, that you would show them that you haven't left them nor forsook them, Lord, that you were right there by their side, Lord, and that you can 
abundantly bless them, Lord, exceeding abundantly above all that they can ask or think because they suffered that heartache, that rejection. Thank you, God, that you love us, that you are with us, that you are for us, God, and thank you for seeing us through this situation to the other side. In Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would love to have you and I would appreciate it. Guys, God loves you so much. God bless you. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and have a great day.